Yeah, it went well. I think you know, I first you know congratulate Coach Pierce on what a great what, you know what a great job did this past year, and you know so, so much respect for him for you know earning the earning the right of the guys and kind of the, the nod from from the program is a pretty cool experience. Yeah, it went well in there. Just you know, getting to meet some of those guys and uh, watch them film with me. Some good plays, some bad plays. So we got it all. No, there's a lot of great players out there. I think they're the best in the world right now. It's my home. So watch them every Sunday. It's fun to watch. So just being out here and getting to meet with some of these guys and uh, being around them, just getting to know them, is, you know, it's fun for me. Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed with them. You know, Coach Mayo, you know, first congratulated him too. Um, you know, come anytime a new head coach, you know, it was a, a pretty cool experience. So just being in there and um, New England's, you know, obviously a great sports town and meet with them. So I thought it went well. I think, um, you know, New England's a great spot and all these teams are, you know, I got a great spot. Yeah, shoot. I think you know one of the most explosive you know offenses in in, in, the, in the country. I think uh, you know started off six and zero, and kind of one of those things where uh, you know some games where I could have made some more plays at the end to win some more games. Um, but at the same time, you know, kind of learning experience, and uh, you know had some some big time some big time offensive games. And um, you know at the end of the day, uh, should just go back out there and um, you know take it one play at a time, and you know, just confidence in myself. Yeah, it was awesome meeting with Coach Payton. I think anytime you got you know one of you know the great offensive minds in there, you know meeting with him was was pretty cool. And Davis Webb, um, he seemed right off the bat, you know, seemed like a you know he kind of you know one of the great quarterback coaches you could play for. And uh, just fun to be in there with those guys. And um, you know, got a great experience and got you know Javante Williams is a Carolina guy out there in Denver. So. Yeah, no doubt. I think, you know, also, you know, the Pac-12 after dark is always on late, so, you know, I'm done with my game. But uh, anytime, you know, Caleb got to know him throughout high school and uh, being in the same class and just rooting for him. Um, such a great guy. You know, got to see him here again. Uh, anytime you're rooting for guys like that, you're rooting for him. You know, I think anytime um, you get to see, you know, quarterbacks around the country, you know, pulling against them, I don't think that's right. So you go pull for guys because I, you know, I genuinely, you know, enjoy and uh, enjoy being around Caleb. Oh, always. Yeah, you ain't, hey, when it gets in between the lines, it's a different story. But, you know, out here, um, you always, you know, just, you know, rooting for them and, you know, checking up on them, asking how they're doing. Can you talk about your relationship with Mitchell Trubisky? Yeah, yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, Mitch has been around, uh, came back to North Carolina a few times, and uh, he's been great. You know, I think he hit me up before the season um, and just, you know, said best of luck. And, uh, you know, he's a great, you know, great mentor anytime. any time. You know, Carolina Blue, you know, quarterback fraternity, you know, just try to stick together. What would you say to the Bears fans that, you know, he's a lightning rod conversation in Chicago, obviously. Yeah, you know, Mitch, I think uh, we had some great years in Chicago, you know, especially that one step year. I remember making the playoffs and then playing well. So, you know, I think a lot of people, these, you know, they analyze based off the helmet. You know, I think we're different players and, and different people, but at the same time, you know, big fan of Mitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Eli's, you know, big fan. I think you know, Eli would probably say, you know, he's probably seen me too much. I've been following around. And so uh, you know, it's always on Zooms. I think the biggest thing is just being a sponge, you know, soaking it all in. And I don't have the, all the answers, and I don't know it all, just being up there with Eli. And uh, like I said, David Morris trained with him down there in Alabama. Uh, he was his backup at Ole Miss. So just uh, kind of the small world of connections and uh, just trying to soak it all up. Yeah, Eli, just be myself. Just enjoy it. Don't be somebody I'm not. And uh, just, you know, at the, same, at the end of the day, don't, you know, give the NFL, you know, too much, you know, you know spotlight or, or credit. You know, it's just, you know, go out there and play ball. Yeah, it was, it was good in there. You know, meeting with um, you know, Coach Dave Ball, big fan of him. You know, offensive mind, one of the best. Um, so, just getting there, getting to know those guys. You know, know Mr. Shane. So, uh, it, was, it was good in there. Yeah, that's yeah, a good call out. Um, yeah, because I'm being from Charlotte, you know, Myers Park is, uh, one of the best students I made, you know, uh, attending that high school, uh, one of the best high schools out there uh, playing there really changed my football path. Um, going in there and um, kind of my sophomore year and being the guy quarterback. And, you know, from there, just um, kind of kind of things started off there. Start, the start of my journey and uh, looking forward to getting back to Charlotte and seeing some of those guys. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Um, Sam, you know, I played little league ball with Sam when I was, you know, in first grade, sixth grade playing tackle football. Sam was the quarterback and I was playing uh, probably on the sideline clapping for him. Um, you know, it's, it's really a small world from Charlotte. So many guys, you know, Daniel Jones and, um, you know, Sam Howell, all these guys, you know, really, I don't think people give enough credit to Charlotte. Great area of football and uh, just North Carolina, I think it's a little bit slept on.
Yeah, just preparing. I think the biggest thing is learning how to prepare, you know, like a pro. I mean, I'm always, obviously don't have it figured out yet. I still had to go to class in between, you know, practice and uh, meeting time. So I think I'll be a little bit different. But also uh, just making plays with my feet, knowing when to uh, check it down to the running back too. Be patient. I think guys try to, you know, drop eight on me and, and test my patience. So just, you know, you know take the check down and uh, move the chains. Yeah, I think, um, you know, something that, you know, I think would you know be an advantage and something you know there's always two sides to it. I think it could be a you know a huge help. You see guys where it works out, um, like Jordan Love, and you see instances where going in like CJ right away is uh, you know can be successful. So whatever they think, you know I'm ready. You know so for both ways, ready to go in there, compete to be the starter. Obviously, you can have that mindset either way. But at the same time, I know um, you know these guys you know you know get they get paid a lot of money to make these decisions. Oh, it was huge, you know, learning how to, you know, prepare, you know, learn how to prepare, learn how to you know, create relationships and handle all the media. You know, Sam was in the spotlight, um, you know, one of the elite guys in college football. So it was fun to, you know, sit behind Sam. He's become one of my best friends. Yeah, favorite favorite family memory. I think um, kind of kind of my brother Luke. You know, the shot he hit against Kentucky kind of put you know put us on notice back in Memphis in uh, in that year. But you know, really just. Uh, you know, being the youngest of you know, four boys, you know, three older brothers, three of my best friends, got a lot of members. Yeah, with Washington, I think they were first, you know, Coach Quinn, um, you know, he's great, you know, kind of kind of clicked right off the bat. Um, he's a great, you know, great guy and, um, you know, great coach, shooting the stuff he's done defensively with the Cowboys over the past year has been pretty special. Um, so meeting in there and, um, you know, Coach um, you know, Coach Pritchard, Coach uh, recruited me in high school from Stanford, so got to know him a little bit. And uh, you know, Coach Kingsbury knows, you know, my office winner from college, so got a lot of connections. Yeah, the Bears shoot. Um, you know, great, great, great sports town. Um, Chicago's about as good as it gets. So just got in there and let them know who I am. I don't think they knew much about me, and uh, just show them, you know, you know, what I got and you know who I am, and, and kind of speak, um, you know, speak on some of the plays and some of the tape. Yeah, just a competitor. I think you know, just a winner. You know, I think if there's something where I can do it all, I can play inside the pocket. You know, I can play, um, you know, outside the pocket, make plays with my feet. You know, pick up first downs on the run, um, win intelligently. You know, I feel like a smart kid. So, I'm um, just try to, you know, one of those things where, you know, I feel like I can, you know, kind of try to do it all. Uh, yeah. For sure, you know, anytime they're in zone, let it rip, man. They find the open area and let it rip. You know, I pride myself in making making all the throws, and I feel like I can. And uh, you know, from whether hash, whatever hash in college, the hashes are a little bit wider, so some of the longer throws. And um, I think these defenses try to test me, and I'm ready for it. Yeah, just uh, my ability to you know to connect with people, my ability to create relationships, and uh, just connect with you know all types of different people. I think that's the biggest thing with me. I'm not going to be a guy and going in there, um, you know, as a rookie, just you know, starting to you know yell and scream and be a leader right off the bat, kind of show my work ethic and earn the respect of the guys, and then from then, uh, just kind of you know grow in more as a vocal guy. What inspired me to play football? Uh, that's a great question, actually. Um, you know, I think my dad. My dad played quarterback in North Carolina. Shoot, you know, about all of us went to North Carolina. So uh, just you know, kind of there, and um, you know, growing up, you know, my three older brothers, none of them were quarterbacks. So I figured, you know, the last one, how about to be me? Um, so just my dad. He's been you know, the guy who watched me throw my whole life. Yeah, I think yeah, that's one of the toughest things. You know, showing as as a quarterback, you know, you're not touching practice. Um, you know, people think that you don't lift as hard because you're not, you know, dump, um, barbell benching, and people kind of call you out for it. So the biggest thing for me was, you know, my, you know, you know running. I think, uh, you know, sometimes I, I, I hurdled or tried to break tackles and some of the hurdle stuff. I need, to, you know, shy away from to, to stay healthy. But uh, I think at the same time it shows that someone competing. One of the kind of the best, um, you know, impacts I felt like I had was, you know, after you know I get ran for first down and uh, made somebody, you know, made somebody miss or tried to hurdle guy. Those guys loved that, and it kind of my, that was kind of my way. that again. Sorry, some of the guys are yelling at me. Yeah, with the Falcons. Shoot, Atlanta, I was really impressed. You know, obviously TJ Yates, you know, North Carolina guys, quarterback coach. Um, so that, that was my first interview of the of the combine here. So it made it easy, you know, being with North Carolina guy. And, uh, you know, Coach Morris is, uh, you know, congratulating him. He was you know, a new head coach. So I thought Atlanta with Atlanta went well. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, shoot, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot to live up to now with, uh, with Tom. So uh, one of the best, one of the GOATs. Um, Coach Christian was my quarterback. Um, you know, kind of he helped with uh, the quarterbacks in North Carolina. He coached um, Tom back in, uh, in Tampa. So just got to you know, watch some old films, some quarterback drills, how consistent he was and, and how he handled himself and took care of his body. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, I think the, the biggest measurement for quarterback is, uh, you know, wins and losses. And I think there's some, some games at the end of the games where I, I could have done there and make a few more plays um, to, you know, help us, uh, you know, impact the win, the win column. But at the same time, um, you know, there's not – I wouldn't redo anything. I put it all out there and left it all out there. What do you feel like the Bears know a lot about you? Oh, no, just having not haven't met with them, haven't seen them. Um, you know, I wasn't at the Senior Bowl or any of that, so I'm just kind of one of the younger I'm, – I'm a junior, so they probably haven't, you know, seen me for as long. But, uh, no, they were all you – know, all of them at practice and at some games, so. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, no doubt. You know, watching, you know, Chicago, you know, Cole Komet is, you know, a great tight end. And you got DJ Moore who played in – I was a big Panthers fan growing up, so watching DJ and, uh, you know, the ability to, you know, play in those cold weather games and, uh, you know, always – like Chicago always got a great defense, so. Yeah, um, just enjoy high school football. Some of the best times of my life. You know, my senior year um, of football in high school got taken away because of COVID, um, and I miss that. You know, miss playing on the lights on Friday nights and um, just to, you know, to outwork everybody. You don't got to post everything on social media like you're working hard. Um, just working the, you know, working silence, working the dark. Any event for the NFL Combine? Ooh, I like that. Um, let's do a three-point contest, basketball. I think basketball kind of goes into play with, you know, being an athlete and being able to shoot the rock. Say what? Birds are real? Uh, no, I took a conspiracy class in, in college, so uh, I talked a little bit about that, but no, I think, I think they are. <laughs> Say it again. Yeah, um, awesome, awesome moment, um, you know, for, for my family, you know, all the all the hard work and watching my three older brothers do their thing and uh, now getting my chance to. I've uh, been so supportive. I've got brothers all over the country. Uh, i got one brother back home living with me in North Carolina. i got one brother playing, you know, basketball overseas in Japan. So we got it all covered, and uh, they've been so supportive. And uh, just, a, just, a, just a sports family. We love to compete and, uh, you know, just, just get after each other. Mm. Yeah, I think that's that's a good way to put it. I think um, you know, try to be both. I think be a surgeon at the you know in two minute drill at the end of the game. Um, I think I showcased a little bit of that. You know, hit check downs and kind of kind of win mentally. Also, be you know an artist. I think you know, some of that is you know making plays, making little plays outside the pocket, and uh, doing my own thing when when something's not open. And I think I can do both of those. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Find a balance. Always you know trying to improve and. Sometimes I feel like I, I moved a little bit too much in there because may have some small moves, but at the same time, making plays with my feet is one of my you know best abilities. Yeah, this past year I think Syracuse, the way I threw it around, um, was awesome. And in 2022, Wake Forest, um, shoot, you know I feel like I was one of those. You know, it's just one of those days you wake up, you know you're 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 in warm ups, you're throwing it well. Yeah, uh, just being able to handle it. I think uh, just having find ways, you know, outside of football to have that um, kind of thing to fall on, um, whereas my family or um, you know my faith and just having that um, with me is, is huge for me. Uh, I'm not you know taking it and uh, still at the same time showing them competing and uh, not being okay with you know um, in some adversity to to not be on the right side of it. Oh yeah! Anytime you're watching them, you know, watching Josh Allen, um, I think you know, watching the hurdles is pretty cool. Watching Josh, I did a little bit of that. I never cleared somebody like he did, but I tried to. Um, and watching Herbert, the way he moves and uh, kind of arm strength, both those guys' arms can, can make all the throws, and I strive my strive myself from doing that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we did, did some outside zone stuff and uh, you know some RPO stuff and did some play action off of it. So uh, you know, I think you know the biggest thing about college is not many under center you know you know offenses anymore. So being able to do that, adjust to it, and you know with their back to the defense is uh, you know eyeing safeties after you you know your, your play action stuff. So I think that translates to the NFL, like you said. Yeah, one of my best friends, um, you know, Sam is uh, shoot. 
has been a mentor to me in college, and uh, it's one of those things where um, there's a lot bigger problems out there in the world than you know being with one of your best friends in the quarterback room. So I think um, you know it's not it's not awkward for us, and it's just a just business. We're good. Appreciate it. Oh, awesome. Thank y'all. Sorry about that, guys.